So now to get started with the kind of act one, which is about the ice age, I'm going to uh, copy this snippet that will get us started on loading and displaying of the bathymetry. And then I'm gonna move over to here and paste in this snippet. And so the first thing we need to do is load this image collection from, from here. Um, when I give you an address that says project sat IO open data sets, that should be your queue that this is coming from the Earth Engine community catalog. And so the data that I'm grabbing here comes from elevation and bathymetry. And then we're using um, one of these, I think it's the general bathymetry, bathymetric chart. Um, and does that look right? Does that look like the right? Yeah, Jebco. So there's a couple of things to, to notice here. This is an image collection. Um, and uh, um, we're not going to get too into it other than to just say that this is an image collection. And uh, and I want, I'm pointing that out because sometimes elevation data will be provided as image collections and sometimes will be provided as images. So you're going to want to kind of pay attention to my language when I'm giving you um, kind of some instructions, um, but also kind of if you're, whenever you grab a starter snippet, just kind of pay attention to this. Is that is that fair? And so um, there's there are other data sets in here. For a while, I was going to use this data set, which is higher resolution. There's some problems with using this data set. You can see this kind of sliver that he just kind of, the scene here that he just kind of passes over. But see right there, psh, there are breaks in the way that the tiles come together that are pretty distracting. It's also only available for the US and I wanted to use a data set that's global. So we're gonna be using um, this one, even though it's pretty coarse. So we're dealing with kilometer pixels. For our purposes, it's totally fine. Um, but just, this is very coarse. This is a kind of an amazing data set because it's, um, the resolution is three meter at, at its worst, which is pretty remarkable. So in the future, if you're interested in this kind of stuff, that's a fun data set to explore. For now, we're gonna use this one. So what we need to do is basically say, let's open up an image collection. So I'm gonna load an image collection, dot, dot, sorry, EE -E, image collection. And then I just need to get this address string copied in there. And like that. And I'm gonna say before getting too far, I'm just gonna kind of print the uh, Kepco to see what this looks like. And run it. And so wait for it. The community palette always kind of slows things down. Okay, so you see it's a it's an image collection that has like these eight images in it. And the images um, basically represent different types of measurements that, um, of bathymetry. And we want to basically flatten them all together. Um, so not sure if he's going to show you some of the yeah so this shows you kind of the different surveys that were done basically we're, we want to mash all of these images in the collection together by grabbing the the median value so i'm gonna oop well sorry yeah they're my kids i don't know why that just popped up but anyway dot median is gonna um, reduce the image collection to just the median values um, and then we're going to clip it by our study region, which is called geometry. Is that, is that all right? And so then if I say run here, we should now see that what prints over here is, uh, is an image. It's got one band and the band is called B1. And that's all, uh, fine for now. And so there's our viz parameters. I've told you to set up the map. So now we just need to kind of display this. And um, I'm going to add a layer. Uh, we're going to use this variable. It's what we're trying to display. We're going to use these viz parameters. And I've given you the min and the max and, um, and the palette. 
from the community palettes. Um, I've asked you to kind of name it this. So there's that, and then I've asked you to display it by default. So I'm just gonna, it's gonna be true to by default. So um, and that should display automatically. And then if we click run here, what you should get is a rectangle in Southern California and what's called the Southern California bite that is showing you the bathymetry. You can see some of the artifacts here in the data set, um, but you basically get the idea that there's uh, some really deep basins um, right offshore. Like that's a pretty deep one right there. Uh, and then eventually you really kind of fall off, fall off the shelf and, uh, and go deep. So this is a this is an interesting part of California because the the uh, San Andreas Fault kind of makes a big bend here, and so this whole area that has been really twisted around, um, and uh, you have uh, the Southern Islands that have a different orientation than the Northern Islands because they've been rotated as the like ball bearings in the as the as the um, the plates move across the uh, along the fault. Anyway, um, I'm gonna say save and. Keep going. 